Yo fam, today I shot a spontaneous tutorial on making hi-hats on the fly. Uh, it's a method I like to use when I'm just in the production flow and I want to use really flexible, customizable hi-hats. Um, it's a great technique, it's kind of quick and dirty how I show it to you here, but if you with some processing you can actually make really nice hi-hats this way. I use this all the time, um, you'll hear it in my songs when you listen. You might not realize, but I do. <laughs> so let's hop in. I just wanted to throw out this um, quick tip. It's kind of a spontaneous tutorial here. So I just made this basic like trap beat. Oops. Um, some drums I made yesterday. Uh, so. Now let's go ahead and just write what's going to be our hat line and pull in any like operator analog or something. And here we'll just reduce the decay zero on the sustain. Let's see. Okay, so that sounds weird right now, but let's go ahead and Um, grab a vocoder. Let's turn the range all the way up and all the way down, respectively. Let's put this on 8, because I think it sounds better that way. Okay, so we're going to want to... We can kind of EQ it here, and then we, we're going to want to turn the release down. Use the format to shape it as well and fiddle with where the noise sits. We're going to want to make sure that it's kind of in this corner because everything else starts to sound really fucked up. Now, let's go ahead and just group this, and we'll kind of use, let's EQ it. Just uh, go ahead and pull in an operator. Um, let's make a real short little click using noise looped. Here, we'll make that a little longer. And let's EQ this as well. All right, and then we have a little hat. And of course, there's all sorts of stuff you can do to fine tune it. And of course, this isn't the best way to make hats, but it's a really fast, simple way that I'll use when I'm just in the production flow and don't want to stop and make a hat, but I also want full control over it because you can even automate things like the decay. You could take this, duplicate it, and turn it into an open hat. Let's see. That still sounds weird. Um... Yeah.
thanks for watching. That's how I make quick hi-hats on the fly. Again, with a little bit of processing, you can make them actually sound really nice. So I'll catch you guys next week. Uh, make sure you find my website, sin-aesthetic, down in the comments. Hit the link. Go download my free Ableton racks and some packs while you're at it. And make sure you smash that subscribe button so you catch all my upcoming videos. See you next week.